Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. I think I'm ready to go back to Elysium without the comment section being upset that I only play one thing. Inventrix uh, or Teractor. Love and Strip Mine turn one with the Peroxide Power. I like the idea of these terraforming cards. Um, the loan makes Inventrix work. You know, we haven't played Inventrix in forever. So if we do that with a loan, do we even need the loan? We do smelting, perhaps. That's $10 worth of steel. Because peroxide power and that will make it work. And then, yeah, that's, that's fun. That's fun. There's nothing here that benefits from Inventrix, but we play a lot of Earth Tag strats lately, so... Let's see if we can get off the beaten path. Uh, if we're going to go for two energy, we may as well do it with artificial photosynthesis instead of losing a little bit of income. And then, boom! Four oxygen to start the game. If I had grabbed the uh, small animals, I actually could play them turn one. And that would have been, you know, 12 clicks. That's six points. Don't get me wrong. It would have cost money, slowed us down, had to buy the card itself. A lot of things that work with energy, though, is what I'm liking. This is going to slow us down, but we have peroxide power. So peroxide power goes into fuel factory, and all of a sudden we're at two titanium production. And now immigration shuttles is starting to make a little bit of sense. Research and shuttles. We can play shuttles immediately. That's not normal. Um, and we have power for it as well. So it means that we're not going for the um, the heat production. We should get the medical lab as well. It's three income. That can make a big difference starting in turn three. Let's try and get a snowball going. Uh, Great Dam. Can't play it. Aquifer pumping. Not sure I'm that interested in it. We have some oceans already. Indentured workers allows us to kind of kick out of the gate more. Uh, particularly with the immigration shuttles. That's something I'm interested in. I guess we don't need to play it. But I'd like to. Just just hit the, hit the ground running here. I think that means that we can play the research card. I'm going to let it go one more turn. Just in case we get something that synergizes with science tags. Ooh, this is fun. Adaptation technology. Allowing us to really expand our ability to play cards. We don't have any cards that have those expansion requirements, but uh, you know how it is. Would we rather go for a strip mine doubling or a steel and two heat? I think we need the steel and two heat. I'd love to double the strip mine. We can get the energy pretty easily with uh, space mirrors, but um, I think that we need the heat quite badly right now. So let's draw two cards and see if that's true. I think it is. Let's get... To the heat production oh i could have waited to double the building tag thing no that's that's like a competitive strategy thing that you do not a not a real one let's get some energy production i'm willing to spend two steel to get a card draw wild tag good to know and then three steel for some heat production and now our heat production isn't so bad it's only turn five we still have lots of time to terraform um nice to have this little Thing built up for us using our wild tag we can play space hotels probably worth it um, lava tube settlement is good do we need the wild tag do we care about magnetic field dome I think we need, we're, we're a little bit cautious about spending our energy so I'm not going to um, so wild tag into space hotel 14 income minus 16 is something that we're going to be at very soon i think i'd like to play the lava tube settlement instead of going for the titanium i'd want to get the three cards and then and then fine i mean look by playing adaptation technology, we could get cloud seeding, but let's just get our, our income up very high. And this will go into the plant dominated location. I know it sucks that we don't have those oceans down yet, but I think we're in a good spot. 
We don't need Jovians this run. It's not something we're doing. Lightning Harvest could be an energy that we need, and it comes with a point, so I don't mind. Um, let's just terraform. Like, I was going to play Adaptation Technology, and then that would get us Cloud Seeding and Grass. But is that actually better than just put the oceans down and then play? You know what? Maybe it is better. I don't know. Because that's going to be... A good chunk of good chunk of plant income and plants. And then next turn we can trees, standard tech, fine. We need a lot of heat. We need a lot of heat. Um giant ice asteroid. I guess I could go here here. I don't love the uh locations for all this, but it's fine. It's fine. If I get standard technology, I don't have enough to buy the ocean, unfortunately. Which is something I really was wanting to do. I was thinking standard technology, then you buy an ocean, the ocean goes here, then you can put greeneries down using that plant. Uh, but it's not needed, so we'll get some energy income. And just in case we need to have an energy in the hand for a card that we're going to pick up. Kelp farming, great. Some terraforming cards, great. Um, yeah, let's get some. Let's get some more terraforming. Just rolling, rolling, greenery. Um, kelp. I have all this steel that's just going to waste right now. But I don't have anything I can really do about it. I like the idea of playing Predators because I know I want it in the long run. It's just not actually that good right now. Minus four. One, two, three, four. If I had played my money right, in fact, I might still be able to import GHG. Oh, no, I'm one heat shy. Okay, never mind. I'm crazy. I was thinking we could get the trees. I was going to use our energy into money card. Ooh, oceans. Look at that. That's huge for us, actually. Business networks could be okay. Um, heat bump, heat bump. Ice. Icy boy. Here and here. Greenery there. I mean, we're just in a good spot now. I mean, we have two more oceans in hand, plus the third there. We can play Predators. We can also play Business Network. Should have done this first. Tundra Farming? That's playable. I'll play both of these. That's, like, all our money. Let's go. Let's go, man. This is, like, we're actually using our Adventrix. That's minus four. We can play it. And minus six, we can also play it. Because we're using Adventrix and... Um, and adaptation technology like that's actually sick like this is the dream is that you actually get to use those cards and now we have 10 plant income the the screwed up thing here and people are gonna i think jump to agree with me is i can play this i can i can use this 20 steel i haven't been able to use all game on a colonizer training camp even though i'm four steps above because of adaptation technology that is insanity that is so good restricted area that's almost certainly worth it just to get us uh on the other side of this lake i am worried about the heat so let's uh let's see if we can play something over here and get a card no uh Hmm. Look, we're doing large convoy and we're doing it for the animals because I have no other way of living my life than greed, greed, greed. But it's really not. I mean, the des special design is, is actually hilarious right now. Uh, but it looks like we're going to be buying standard project heat bumps all next turn. I'd like to play Comet right now, but I want something to spend my titanium on. And right now, I don't really have anything. 
We just heather. We use our our steel on getting two more points. And then we wait. Next turn, we we have to go up like 13 million heat bumps. At least we have exactly 16 heat, but capital is actually worth playing in a crazy way because we have 16 steel. We'll make more money back on it. Mohol, oh wow, look, some heat production. Like we identified the lack of heat production early, even with our choice uh, with our AI robot card. We chose to get more um, more heat production rather than anything else. So I just find it interesting. Oh, we have no energy income. Why did I grab capital? Oops. I mean, it's fine, but it's also not fine. Money back. Uh, are we really going to get another greenery out of this? The ocean placement will help. We have all this steel, so thankfully we got a car that at least converts some of it into cash. We can't put an ocean down for, for plants, so I'm just wondering if we're really going to get a bonus greenery. Like standard tech is only going to bring us so far here. Because we're going to have to heat bump, and then heat bump, and then heat bump. I mean... If it wasn't for standard tech, this run was just dead. And now with standard technology, it's a success, but just barely. We're gonna put greeneries beside our city. And then, yeah, the last last greenery. Hopefully we get some sort of energy card. No. A Jovian isn't too bad though. That's at least some points. Yeah, I mean, that was just a kind of a quiet finale here. There's no way I'm going to be able to afford two energy, so those cards are just dead. Um, that's just a steal income, so there you go. I mean, hey, three criteria once again. Terraform the whole planet? Check. We did it. We're the best. Um... Should have grabbed, should have grabbed two plants maybe. I wanted a card for another point, but had I counted, an, a guaranteed greenery for a point would have been better. So first check. Second, we weren't greedy enough. We got 96 points. That's not over 100. This is a bad. This is a fail run. And then third, did we get 63 TR? We did not. We got 58 TR. So really, we got one third. That's not a passing grade. We did the bare minimum. Somebody might be like, wow, great, you did a terraform. Great you, great great job. But really, we know we can do better, and we have to. We always have to strive to improve. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this actually useful run of having plus or minus four on global metrics when playing cards. We really made it work for algae, trees, um, a couple other plant producing cards. We still had to buy standard projects at the end for a lot of things, but I hope you enjoy. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.